Well, after a nice long break, I'm back here in College Station. The guys worked on the veneering. They did as much as they could without getting in the way of the form boards for shooting the roof to the equipment room and behind the grotto. And right now, uh, Ben with 149 Pools is here shooting the gunite roof. And uh, after today, uh, we can continue on finishing our stonework and working on the little pool. And it looks like we should have be right at two weeks left to get everything done. We should be right with our eight week schedule we had initially planned on. So everything's right on schedule, looking good. See how this is looking. That's a nice veneer. Oh, look at that. Looking good. We got the skimmer concealed in here, nice and hidden. That looks good. So here we are, it's Thursday already. Let me show you what's been happening while you've been gone. So it looks like they're doing a little cutting and fabricating to get a nice tight fit with this stone here. That's gonna look good though. It's starting to taper it down. What we do is we got the that rock into place so that when the water is sheeting off of this water feature, if any water wants to run off to the side, it can't now because it'll hit that rock and kind of weep back down into the pool. And Chris is just notching that out so we get a nice tight fit with that stone there. We're going to try to set rocks all along this whole entire beam, work our way out here. Once we get to the other end, this pool is pretty much done. This is three to four inch thick flagstone, all very heavy pieces. We had to set these into place and then when you cut them, it's very hard to cut through and then we're honing the edge to give a nice round bullnose effect so it's very smooth. And then here I fabricated all this, I'm very proud of it. We got the skimmer all cut out. And the trickiest part was we had to figure out underneath the rock, this, this here is for the volleyball net. This cover comes off and it's a sleeve for the volleyball net. So I had to make sure to cut it out for the skimmer, line up, drill this hole, and you can see it's exactly the right size. I didn't have any wiggle room. If I was off even an eighth of an inch, then the hole that I cut out for the skimmer wouldn't have lined up. But as you can see, everything came out perfect. And here, we're gonna have where these shovels are, a couple of steps down. And then we gotta make, this is where we gotta build our steps to come up to the top of the grotto, to the water slide. Then here you can see the veneering that we've done so far along the wall. All the forms have to be left for seven days that hold up this roof they poured. So next Monday they can pull it out. We can finish veneering inside our tunnel that goes to the grotto. Got a nice big stone veneered right there we can piece into. Here's another storage room back in here. Then we've got this side you know, more than halfway up, all veneered. Just gotta finish veneering that next week. So it's just after lunch here on Thursday. You can see we're making good progress here with the boulders down the side of the pool, piecing it all in nice. Trying to butt that rock up next to this rock. All right, move it out. Look at that! <laughs> 